Hello, hello. I come up with another brick. This one is just in the Harris Teeter box. It's still a little warm. It's Argo container, wheat starch, and I put a little flour on the top. I ain't have no flour, so. But before I get started on that, I'm going to do a little quick update. I had a request for, um, since she want me to do wheat starch, I have my other wheat starch, but this is a new brand I have never tried. So I'm going to try some of this with the Argo in the yellow box. It's a request with the wheat starch. My normal, what I will do though, got my little bowl. I will be mixing it up. I won't do it in layers. I'm gonna mix it up, then pack it. Cause I would not be using the whole box. I might use all this, but I have my container to put my extra Argo. Because it really doesn't take a lot of Argo laundry. Well, Argo laundry, Argo yellow box to give a good crunch. So really want to test this out, see what this is going to be about. But sub your request. And let me see what this is. And I did this in the brown bag because I didn't. It doesn't come in a regular bag. So I might not get the brick this time. It's solid though, y'all. It's just my bag is so raggedy. Let me see what I can do. Feels really hard. Something about that flour and the wheat. That's why, because normally when I do my containers, they don't really be crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. So I said I try it with this wheat starch and some flour. Let's see how it comes out. So far, it's looking good, y'all. Yeah. <sighs> the heat here is horrendous. Mm -hmm. A little powder that come from the inside of the little um, creases in the bag. Now I'm getting better and better with this pack and this, my chunks. What did I say? Okay, flour, flour at the top, wheat starch. See, I didn't got that quick, y'all. Oh, Argo in the container. 
I speak for this one. Let me see what it is. No matter how much I try, I always notice with my container starches, they never come out crunchy like that box. Or, well, it's the containers. My boxes always come out good and hard. Also notice with my art with my container starches I hardly ever layer it when I pack it I always mix it so I think what I'm gonna do next time I do a container I'm just gonna do it in the layer I'm not gonna mix it up and see if it'll be a difference Mm -hmm. To me, that's the best part up in the summer. What I was trying to say is I didn't put bud a little bit of flour and that's it right there. It's on the top. I really was just trying to finish the box off. Let me see if I can get it out because I know that's super crunchy. One thing I noticed about this cornstarch thing 
Sometimes you can get a super crunch. Then sometimes it don't be nothing. So, it's an amazing item, item product. Come on out of there. I need to get my munch on. Y'all can't really see the difference in it, but I can. Just in the color, I can see the difference in it. I don't think y'all can see it that much. And for my new people that really haven't seen a lot of my videos, which I do have a lot, I very seldom cook in the oven. Very seldom because it just don't work for me. But if you notice, if you can see it, the difference in the color of the flour and the um. But enough of all that. Now this is hard. I should have mixed it. Mm hmm. But I do have another box that's made Argo container and the flour mixed. So Yeah, I'm a little talkative on this video. The video I uploaded just before this was a crunch video. But I'm a little talkative because, like I said, I had a request. But I'm thinking, I'm starting to notice with this starch, my containers versus the box. Box always makes super chunks. And I think it's because it's in a box. It can breathe. My opinion only, y'all, it breathes better. It can get air, so it's a little drier. Versus the containers are sealed and it's in plastic. And I'm thinking it's pretty much the same thing with the wheat. But the wheat is good anyway. It just, that's good anyway. But I never tried it. Now, matter of fact, let me try this right quick while I'm on camera. <clears throat> See what it tastes like. I'm trying not to make too much of a mess. See what I got here. Mmm, smells really strong. Mm. See what I got. This lap tastes better when it's cooked. Lord, I'm I don't even want to say you know, all this going in here. And I'm gonna mix some of this in there with it, but mm -hmm. mm -mm. 
Oh, that's going in, you know. Um, I ain't worried about the bag. I got another bag of it to show y'all when I finish it, but. Anyway, as my request, I will probably do a half a box, put the oven up, mix it in with this, and pack it down. Be my next video. Nope, nope. All right, y'all. With this one, I think it's the container because I already know what the wheat and the flour will do. It's the, just the container starch. That's why I mostly eat my starch powder form in the container because to me it even tastes different. So to me, this is not no thumbs up. This is a thumb sideways. Do that count, y'all? Sideways. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I'm about ready to end this video. And like I say, I will be mixing all this up. I'm not going to do it on camera. But it's a request. Hopefully, I can come back tomorrow. Hopefully, with the results. But that will be my next video. Thank you. Thank everyone for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes. Keep them coming. Keep those comments coming. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. You know, from time to time, we all have our trials and tribulations. And, you know, I'm, I'm going through a few trials and tribulations as, my, as well. But I promise you, I won't put my burdens on y'all. Only one person I'm going to do that for, uh, with, and that's him up there. And for those that y'all felt like I talked too much on this video, I apologize. But it's just one of them days. My starch didn't come out exactly how I want. And, you know, I'm one of them types. I feel like everyone, you know, I feel like every one of my boxes is supposed to be super crunchy. But in the starch world, it doesn't work like that.